I mean, actually, when I think about, you know, Converse basketball, I think about Dr. J first. But I think of how fun it must have been in the ABA, where there was just no pressure and people just had it. It, it was truly an entertainment league. The Afro was it. I mean, that was his trademark thing, you know, was, was the big Afro. When you talk about Dr. J, you talk about that Afro. There's another dunk that kind of stood out. Instead of, you know, palming the ball, he kind of cuffed the ball in one hand and rocked it on him. That big arm just swinging all the way around. Like, I thought the ball was gonna rub the floor for a minute. He was a pioneer in the game. You know, Dr. J is definitely a trailblazer. When Dr. J walked on the court, you knew you were looking at a black man in America. He looked like us, he walked like us, he talked like us, and he excelled like we wanted to excel. The fact that uh, Dr. J still gets respect to this day, I mean, he says, I mean, he speaks volumes, man. That's what's special about him, is the fact that, um, you know, he can carry on. When we think about Doc, it's not just about his stats. He's always been respectful, he's always been professional, he's always been courteous, but at the same time, he was always confident, and he would be stern about the things that he believed in. And that he's still, you know, able to walk with his head high, not just as an athlete, but as a man. And I feel like um, one of the things that, you know, that he showed us is that there can be life after sports.